starting to get that hot. like surface of the sun hot already. <laughs> it in really Florida. is. My car said 108 the other day. Oh my goodness. 108. Yeah. I know. It wasn't I don't I wasn't parked anywhere hot. It was just outdoors. Wow. Well, especially in light of that, you're spending this time in the heat. Obviously, you got to take care of your car, but it's even more important that you stay hydrated. But I think the big question is everybody wants to know how much should they be drinking? I mean, I carry this big thing around with me, and if I drink two or three a day, I feel like, woo, okay. I've done my check, job. Check the box. Yeah, well, but we, I don't know. We brought in the expert. Dr. Andrea Arikawa is a registered dietitian and nutritionist. It's good to see you. you All right, too. so how much should we be drinking? Tell Charlene, what is she doing? Oh, and nice. water. And how water, much water we'll should we have? We'll get to the alcohol We'll get to there. So it really depends on the age range, mm -hmm. right? So for younger kids, like elementary school age, you, you need about five cups. And then as you move up in the age range, so for middle school kids, it's more about seven to eight uh, cups. Then, you know, high school age is about to eight to 11 cups. And then for adults, 19 plus, it's between 11 for women and 16 for men. One thing to remember, mm. though, is that, you know, out of these 11 cups for women, for example, it's total fluid recommendation, so it can be coming from foods as well. So foods like fruits and vegetables have a lot of water. So, you know, maybe two or, or, or three of these cups are going to be coming from food. Okay. When you say cups, talk to me about a cup. Is this that is an the eight cup? ounce, okay, yes, eight ounce. A standard so, eight fluid ounce So if cup. I'm looking at these giant turvis things that everybody's walking around with today, it, it, that carries it's a like lot four. More. Okay, right, that okay. probably so is about 64 two or three ounces. Today. Okay, a day yep. is good. And yep. how do you know if you've hydrated yourself enough? So that's the other thing, you know, depending on how much sports you do outside, how much you sweat, that can actually vary a lot. So one way to find out if you're staying hydrated is to take a look at the urine. <laughs> I was going to ask color, you, I say, everybody right? says to do that. You know, and it is, a, you know, it is a good way. So, you know, if your, your, your urine is really dark like apple juice you're probably not drinking enough is that the only way to tell or are there other ways to tell you know uh, I mean you don't want to wait until you're thirsty because that means that you're really way uh, past yes, that okay. you know you want to make sure that you, also if you cramp if you start getting muscle cramps that means you are definitely dehydrated yes but it has to do also with minerals and vitamins that you may be lacking so there are a lot of different factors but you know if you have a light color you know, pale yellow urine, that probably means that you're staying okay, well. You're in the right. safety zone. And you, you know, say make it a habit too, right? Just exactly. So here are some ways that you can do that. You know, the easiest way is to carry a water bottle with you, and then you can just sip from it several times a I day do. and yep. keep filling it, right? But if you're not a big fan of water, what you can do is kind of add splashes of juice. So, you, you know, you can do, do a little bit of juice. You want to, you can do, I do ice cubes. I love, I just use an ice cube tray, put some fruit juice and some other things. You can get really creative with this stuff. And then you can, you know, just add one little cube to, you know, some water. Just let it, and it gives just a nice flavor. Is the, that fruit you've cut up or fruit yes. juice you froze? This is actually watermelon and orange that I just put in ice cubes and froze, and now it gives a nice you know, flavor to, to your water. You can already you see can it dissipating in there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So you can always do slices of different mm -hmm. fruits, and if you like tea, you can sip from tea. But one thing to really remember is that you don't want to add too many calories to your right. fluids. Right, and sugar, mm -hmm. right? Exactly, yeah, so, so you want to make sure that you just don't add too many calories. You know, water is great. Now they have these little packets that you can add to your water to give flavor that are low calorie, mm -hmm. or almost no calorie, so you can try to do that too. So there are a lot of different ways to, to stay hydrated. Okay. But let's move over okay. here. Okay, I'm going to look at that one. Don't is, look at me. <laughs> so this is really what I want to make sure that everyone is uh, On your Sunday aware. fun day. This right. should be exactly. part of your Sunday so, you know, fun day who menu. Who doesn't like a you know, ice cold beer on a really hot day, right? Sure. The thing to remember is that alcohol is dehydrating. So if you're drinking a can of beer, Really, you want to make sure that you're drinking oh, enough you double. water. So yes. you double it up. Because if you drink this, you're actually going to pee more than you drink. Okay. So you want to make sure that you stay hydrated and add at least, you know, one cup per serving of alcohol. So you're always with your water there. Just don't stick to the beer or the wine. Because I think people think, okay, just like there's water in fruit, there's the water in the drink itself, there's water in the beer, so therefore I'm getting that water consumption. But What, oh, that is not true? What, it, what, what, what are you saying, not. Casey? What? Because are these alcohol? lies? you were telling people. <laughs> that alcohol makes you actually pee more, mm -hmm. so you so want to make sure it. you are. Gotcha. Okay. And so wait, you said beer and wine, but then also what about a liquor, real quick? How Do you need to increase the water intake with oh, that? Oh, for sure. Any alcohol. <laughs> She's here, yes. I'm asking. But for liquor, we're talking about this much. 
right? One serving is about okay. two and a half ounces. Right, and of water is? Which would be equivalent to, you know, one 12 ounce can of a regular beer. it's more beer. super con concentrated. Exactly, it's okay. all about the, the percentage of alcohol. Well, thank you for that very important yes. life-saving <laughs> advice. <laughs> yes, she is writing everything down that you say as we speak. All right, thank you, it's good to see you. Sure, we appreciate you taking the time to be here. All right, and still to come up here on First Coast